Would you like to have your salary in gold? Of course you would. The reality is that gold is just as fiat as everything else. Its value is decided by people who told us that it's not fiat, and somehow it is different than a piece of paper whose value is decided by people. The last time got people held gold, it was taken by the government and became a commodity to be sold for its value in manufacturing. Do you know how expensive our electronics would be had they let gold continue up in price? No mobile phones, no computers, no big televisions, no gadgets, no internet, no grounds for your teeth. We'd need to take the sum of all gold to cover the amount of money in circulation and then some more. The real problem is that people aren't getting paid, like when America used to manufacture things for post-World War II world. We were the only country able to make the things that the world needed to rebuild. Employers couldn't get enough employees, so benefits like medical insurance and pensions were used as bargaining chips to lure people away from their current employers. This made us wealthy, but when the world was rebuilt, the opposite began to happen. Wall Street demanded more profits because they weren't making what they had been, so they had to get labour to work for less, but the only way that happened was by the destruction of companies. They learned to cannibalize our companies for their pensions and other assets, leaving the employees unemployed and foregoing all their benefits. Wall Street even got the government to bail out the stolen pensions for pennies on the dollars to make it appear that the government was watching out for the people, but it was a sham. It allowed Wall Street to walk away with all the assets, while the government rarely had enough money in the Pension Board Guarantee Corporation. This corporation didn't pay what people expected. It was an insurance, but it seemed forever in debt, and had a maximum payout established by law. It was just another scheme to let Wall Street enrich itself at the people's expense. The 401k was created, where you could save your wages to ensure a pension at retirement, but this was invested 100% into Wall Street. Our manufacturing was sold to low-wage countries to make Wall Street even happier, while Bill Clinton announced that we were going to become a service industry selling expensive services and processes to other countries. This made a workforce that was working for minimum wage all over the country, while we were all are getting poorer and poorer. Wall Street has been allowed to pretty much do what they want while catabolizing our economy ever since. For the American economy to be fixed, you have to find an honest government, and that will never happen again. The complete corruption of the, all the world's currency by the United States government and its axis of evil players has destroyed any idea of a trustworthy system of currency and banking that can be used in society. Even the most honest financial experts have no foolproof system to replace what the United States has destroyed. Back in 1991, the International Monetary Fund told the Russian oligarchs who owned the banks that if the Russian people have money in their banks, it would lead to serious overinflation in the economy. What did those bankers do? They closed their banks and stole all the money in the accounts. This is all horseshit. You are going to run an old nag with three broke legs in the Kentucky Derby? All 4,700 plus fiat money systems in the history of the world have failed and this one is going down for the count. Every system currently op in operation is terrible at best and an outright distraction at worst. It gives the impression that the US government prints money, which is total BS. No one doesn't mention that the Federal Reserve, which is not federal and has no reserves, brings money into existence out of thin air by issuing digital credits to the treasury to purchase bonds. They alone control the volume of money and are responsible for every single swing in the market since their inception. We need to treat financial crooks like China does. They use death sentences for these criminals.